number two of the Friday edition of the Steve Malsberg Show, and I have been waiting all week uh, for this interview because I, I find these stories uh, when they uh, come out uh, to be just uh, just fascinating. There's a, a great book called Waking Up in Heaven, and it's been on the New York Times bestseller list for uh, 17 weeks or so, maybe even longer by now, um, and yeah, about 17, 18 weeks. And the author, Crystal McVeigh, um, was dead. She she died uh, for uh, nine hours, and um, I'm sorry, nine minutes after doctors gave her uh, too much of a uh, pain medication while she was in the hospital. And she is here to uh, tell us all about what she writes about in uh, Waking Up in Heaven, which I'm holding up in my uh, hands here on uh, for those watching on Newsmax TV. Uh, let's welcome in, without any uh, any further ado. Uh, Crystal McVeigh. Hey, Crystal. Glad Hi, to talk to you. you. I'm I'm Thanks fine. It is it is such an amazing story, and and I've you know I, I'm sure you've heard them before. And if you you didn't, I'm sure you've done research since the book or while writing the book. And there have been other people who have had uh, at least similar experience to the extent that they that they say that their you know their body they they rose out of their body and when they were declared dead or were dead and then you know had an experience with God and then came back into their body it wasn't their time whatever tell us what happened to you uh when you were uh when you were given too much pain medication in in the hospital that day sure so i always start with telling people that i was a doubter i was a skeptic now i had grown up in church my entire life but I had a lot of secrets, secrets of child um, sexual abuse and abortion as a teenager, things that I just never talked about. And so up until the day I died, I thought I had two options. One, God was real, and he didn't love me for some reason. He hadn't protected me. Or two, God wasn't real. Um, I'm not, I was not an atheist. I was just a doubter. I closed my eyes in the hospital that day, my mom was in the room with me at my feet, and I remember telling her that I loved her, and I remember closing my eyes. And the moment that I closed my eyes on earth was the exact moment that I opened them in heaven. And the amazing and beautiful thing about that instant was that there was no question of where I was. Instantly, I knew that I was standing in the presence of angels whom I had known um, prior to my existence on earth. I was very familiar with where I was and where I had just come from. What I found myself standing in was the most beautiful tunnel of light that I could ever try to describe to you. I used the color white, but only because that's the closest color um, to purity that we have here on this earth. Instantly, knowledge was downloaded to me. I had no question, and I began to communicate with the two angels standing to my left immediately. And, and you say you knew these angels from before you were born? In other words, before you, before you were born, it's not like you knew them from this life and they had passed away, but you knew them from prior, is what right. you're saying. I did okay. not. I, didn't, I was very aware of the fact that I had not known them on this earth. And somebody had said to me after I shared that part of the story, you know, that's not biblical um, for you to say you existed before you came to earth. And I had never read the Bible. And so after I experienced this with God, the first thing I read was the Bible. And actually, Jeremiah tells us that God said in his own words, I knew you before I knitted you in your mother's womb. These two angels were more than just angels. They were my angels. They were my friends, my I just loved them so much. Um, people often ask me what they looked like, and what I saw were two silhouettes with so much light radiating off of them. I, can't, I just can't recall um, facial features. But I could look at them, um, and we could communicate instantly with no words. The other thing there was um, not in heaven was time. There was no minutes or hours. There was no rush. I remember standing and communicating with them, and as I turned to my right, I noticed that the light to my right started taking on a different feeling, a different texture. And as I turned to my right, I fell to my knees because instantly I recognized that I was in the presence of God. I didn't just meet God. I, I had already known Him. I was being 
reintroduced? Re- re- yes, re- rejoined, reintroduced to the being who created me. And I fell to my knees in worship. And I get asked a lot, what did God look like? Um, the only words that I can describe, I use a light, but a light more beautiful than what we've ever seen on earth, and one that not only could I see, but I could communicate with. And we have five senses here, but it, it was as if a hundred senses while I was there. I love, we're, we're talking to Crystal McVeigh, uh, author of Waking Up in Heaven here on the Steve Malsberg Show. Did you communicate with, with God? I did. I, I fell to my knees and in worship of Him. I lifted my hands, and the first question I said was, why didn't I do more for you? Um, because instantly He had shown me His beauty and His power and His love. Um, I was so saddened with the fact that I hadn't done more in His name while I had been here. Was there any communication from God to you? Yes, he allowed me to remember a few things that he said directly to me. Now, the entire time I was there, it was constant communication back and forth. Um, As I looked down the tunnel, I noticed that the end became increasingly bright. And like I said, there was no questions there. And I knew that I was looking at the, the entrance to heaven or the gates to heaven. I didn't see big, swingy gates, but I knew what I was looking at. And he said, once we get there you can't come back. And in that instant, he showed me a vision of my four children. I had two teenagers and two twins that were 10 months old. And my memory was jogged back to sitting in church when the pastor said, you'll love God above all else. And I remember saying, if you're real, I would never love you more than my children. And in that instance, he showed me my four children. He showed me that their life, um, that they were going to be okay without me that I was going to see them again, that he would always be with them, and he gave me the choice to come back to be their mother to stay with him. And I actually chose to stay with him. And why did he send you back? Well, you don't... Um, as, we continued, as we continued to go down the tunnel, um, he just made it very clear in one beautiful, uh, amazing encounter with um, a person that he introduced me to, his love flooded me. It, it freed me from years of, of self-doubt and hatred and unworthiness. And he healed me um, right in front of the gates of heaven. And then I heard my mom call my name. And when she called my name, I felt so sorry for her that she had no idea where I was. And I said, can I go tell her that I'm okay? And I did not want to come back to my life. I have no idea how I was going to tell her. And he said... The choice is up to you. And as I turned to go and find where her voice was coming from, he said, tell them what you can remember. And I remember calling back kind of over my shoulder. I said, I'll remember everything, and I'll be right back. And here you are. Yeah, and as soon as I looked down the bottom of the tunnel, which was like um, beautiful crystal-like diamonds, and as soon as I noticed the bottom of the tunnel, um, I was right back. All right. We only got, body. unfortunately, Chris, I only have less than a minute. You were declared dead by the doctors there. I mean, the, your, your heart had stopped. It's not like you just drifted off to sleep. You were, they declared right. you dead? I wasn't declared dead, okay. but I did have a code blue performed for seven and a half minutes. It meant your heart stopped, right? Yes, rest, yeah. that's where you rest, no heartbeat, no yeah. breathing. All right, I really wish I had more time with you, but it's been oh, fascinating. Yeah. And, and the book, Waking Up in Heaven, continued success with it. I know you're a teacher and a great mom and an amazing story, and folks could find out more about it. Good luck to you. Thank you so much. God bless. Thank you. You too. Crystal Bye-bye. McVeigh, ladies and gentlemen, Waking Up in Heaven. Pretty wild stuff. Pretty wild stuff. Uh, and again, it's not the first time uh, that uh, this kind of story has been told. This is a different one. Steve Malsberg Show, Newsmax TV and Radio.